Hey, it's Kevin DeWitch here. In a previous couple of videos, I've talked about gain staging. Uh, one, I sort of explained the process in general, and the second one, I did it in a little bit more detail from start to finish to answer some questions that were raised around the video, first video and sort of highlighted, obviously, this is a Cubase process and it can be adapted to any DAW. Now, in those ones there, I made reference to the meters in Cubase a little bit, but then I also mainly was using the Slate Virtual Console channel to give me a sort of VU type representation of that. And while the meters in Cubase and Pro Tools and that sort of thing are quite handy, sometimes I find it a lot easier to sort of read a VU meter for setting these gain staging because of the way it responds and it, it more takes an average and it, it just visually to me is a lot clearer. I can quite easily see where zero is and just, I just find it so much simpler to do that. So what would be the process if you didn't have the Slate plugins or any of those sort of plugins? Okay, but you wanted to follow the same process and you wanted to have a VU style meter to do that. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly that. Now, there are free VU meters out on the market, but the one I'm going to show you does cost a little bit, but it's quite cheap. But it's a very good VU meter and it's quite handy to have for lots of things. I use it in my mastering sessions as well because I like to check out the levels on a VU meter to get to zero on that at a different level than what I'm doing in mixing. In mastering, I'll set it a lot higher than I do in mixing, but the principle stays the same. And again, the VU meter style to me gives me that better representation of the average of the song that's being played and where to set my levels at. So I'm gonna show you the plugin and I'm gonna show you the process and let's get into it now. Okay, so if you've watched any of my other gain staging or my last gain staging video, you'll recognize this setup. And if you haven't, uh, check the links below or the links at the end of this video where you'll be pointed to those. So in this case here, originally when I did this, I was referring to these slate plugins here. So if we solo, say one track here, and I'll just bring this plugin here in. You see that my gain staging was set around this meter here in this plugin, which as I stated was set to minus 18 dB. That's where zero is. Okay, so that's great if you've got this plugin and you want to use this plugin. Now you may not want to use this, you may not even have this plugin. So if you imagine that these plugins are not here at all, what can you do alternatively to do the same thing? So the plugin I'm recommending is the Clang Helm VUMT. Now, as I stated, it's not free. It does cost a little bit of money, but it is quite cheap. You are quite welcome to find out free versions and hopefully they work just as well and just adapt that to this. But I wanted to show you on a plugin that I recommend and it's a plugin that I use a lot as stated, I use it in mastering as well. And it's quite simple, okay? There's obviously lots of settings we can change here. We can change the look and how big it is and all that sort of stuff. Okay, but mainly what we want here is we've got a VU type. We can set our trim if we want, but I'm leaving it at zero. And we've got it calibrated, in this case here, to minus 18. Now, as I stated, when I'm mastering, I will change that to a higher value, say a minus 10 or even minus eight. And that's where it changes. So this value is what you're re referencing as zero. But in the case of mixing here, I wanna set it to minus 18. Now, if you remember, that's the same value that is on the slate virtual channel, console channel. So with this here now, 
again we can gain stage to zero. We can even have a little mark here to show us sort of a hold value here to see where we're getting to. And we can adjust our clip gain to suit on this meter. So if we switch over to our window here and we open it up again. Originally, originally this came in at this hot. You can see the values here. It's quite loud and the peak was up there. So we just drop this down. And we go ahead and we do that on all of our tracks. We go along and set all of them up as we just said. So once we've got them all set here, well then they're all good to go. You know, we can. If you want to do it quickly, you can, in QS here, we can open up every single one of these and we could obviously make them smaller if we wanted to lay them all out here. It might uh, put a bit of pressure on our CPU. Okay, I don't know what I've got open here. So we could lay them all out. And then you could just run through quickly and just set all of your gain staging levels on all of those. Okay, so once we've done all of our individual tracks, then we come along and you'll notice that there is a stereo and solo version so here that's the solo version the stereo version looks very similar except we've got some extra controls here and you can actually open it up to dual meters so that you can compare the individual channels themselves and link them and unlink them So once we've done our individual channels, again, follow the process in the other videos. We then come along to our mix bus here. And again, as I said, we can open it up and we're gonna have a look. How's our gain staging on here? So I might take it up a bit. So we get our gain staging levels right in this one. And then we go along and we grab the next one again, which is now our main out. And we're gonna do our entire song. And in this case here, we're hitting extremely loud. And we would need to open up our buses and set those levels there. So we could do that quite easily. So we could select all of our buses and drop the levels.
So there you go. So we've got that right. We've got our gain staging set and it's all looking good. Now, once, you, once you've set your gain staging levels to save resources, I would go and remove all those VU meters unless you feel that you're going to need them there again. Now, you shouldn't, once you've set your clip gain on each of the individual tracks, there should be no reason that you need the VU meters on the individual tracks. So I would go and remove those to take the pressure off your system. You might want to leave your bus ones there until you've sort of finished mixing and getting close to the end of the project. But you can obviously disable them and bring them in as you need them because they are going to take resources and you don't want it to bog down your system just so that you've got these VU meters. So only keep what is there, what you need at the time. And like I said, certain things are never going to change. Like once you set the clip gain of the audio, that's not going to change. So you shouldn't need to have those there after you do that. So that's how I would do gain staging in Cubase using VU meters as opposed to using the inbuilt uh, Cubase meters or any other DAW meters, or using additional plugins like this Slate Virtual Console channel or anything like that. So I'll put the link for the plugin down below. So feel free to check it out and purchase it if you think it's a good investment for you and you want it to add to your collection. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can get all the additional videos as I release them. Hopefully it's been helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.